first this week is all about learning. Later, we'll meet the Delaware Teacher of the Year, but let's start with our first look. How do you grab a student's attention in the classroom, especially when it comes to learning math? Well, we'll introduce you to a Wilmington teacher who certainly has the answer for students in her classroom, and that's through lyrical math. decimal numbers and so let's do a demonstration for them. Here we go. Line them up. Uh, line them up. Add them with these decimals. I line them up. Line them up. Line them up. So check them with these decimals. I line them up. When it comes to strengthening students' math skills, fifth grade math teacher Kaziah Finney is using her rap skills. I grew up in a musical household, have a musical family, and so I realized that the traditional way of teaching students, my students were bored a bit. In the classroom, she's able to keep Warner Elementary School students engaged. Although she's committed to the school's curriculum, everyone is taking notice to her teaching method called lyrical math. I'm just excited about our young people learning math and learning where they are. They enjoy music. If music is going to teach them, then let's do it. Parents have also been introduced to Mrs. Finney's unique approach. When it comes to learning, the principal says excitement from parents is just as important. The parental engagement has definitely increased and the engagement in the instructional core is really important there. And that's what we were able to do and her work definitely spearheaded that. According to one parent, the multiplication chart was her daughter's least favorite part of math. It was a struggle at first, but she's getting them now, so that's awesome. Just take a listen. Simplifying anything with numbers comes natural to Mrs. Finney. Eight, 10, 12, 14. Mrs. Finney's students are so intrigued, some have joined their teacher to make an even bigger impact at the school. It does make math easier because it's like like you're making rhymes or like songs about what you're doing. When I'm like doing my homework and I can't remember something, I like to think of Mrs. Finney's songs and then now help me out. DJ, play track. Outside of the classroom, Mrs. Finney along with her husband James create instructional math videos for students whole number to the denominators and I take that and add it to my numerator. There are so many different um, students from every walk of life, um, every country, having access to this tool, to this learning tool. There, there are so many different um, students that would benefit just from another way um, and using music as another strategy to get a skill that they have to learn in. It's just a great idea, you know, and, and I'm looking forward to more students having that access. And more access is possible through the website Lyrical Math, reaching an even bigger audience who may need a little help with math, such as multiplying fractions. All right, so we multiply my whole number to the denominator, then I take that and add it to my numerator. So we need to do four times five, plus one. Four times five gives us 20, plus one gives us 21. And so we put 21 over the denominator five. Meanwhile, whether it's Mrs. Finney's rap, instructional videos, or one-on-one -on -one time she gives students, Lyrical Math is bringing out these fifth graders' creative side. One kiloliter equals 1,000 liters. Let's flow. One cup, eight through an ounce. One pint, two cups, one quart. Two pints, one gallon, four quarts, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. You can keep up with Mrs. Finney and Lyrical Math when you go to lyricalmath.com. You can also catch some of her performances locally where she remixes math with her rhymes. Her next performance will take place at the Delaware Children's Museum in December. Is there any way to judge how the students are, are being successful in this class? Yes and no. Although Mrs. Finney has been teaching for about 16 years, she just introduced her students to lyrical math, but lyrical math has definitely caught the attention of parents who say their children are much more engaged, so hopefully it will do well in the future. And obviously math is a difficult subject for lots of children, especially the kids at, at Warner Elementary. To answer your question, yes, Mark, especially when you compare state 
math proficiency to math proficiency at the school. But according to the state, uh, nearly five in 10 students do well in math. When you take a look at district numbers, they're pretty close to the state percentage as well. Unfortunately though, Mark, when you take a look at Warner Elementary, barely one in 10 students are proficient and state testing. Well, hopefully this helps. Thanks, Michelle. You can check out this story online at the new whyy.org slash first.